My name is Keith Nitka. I'm the Battleship Operations Manager here on board Battleship Wisconsin. And I want to thank you for joining me today at another Whiskey Wednesday virtual adventure. Uh, today we are in the library. Uh, as many of you know, as I've been talking about in previous episodes, Battleship Wisconsin, like the other Iowa class battleships and battleships in general, are cities at sea. So most everything that you have in your hometown, we're going to have here on the ship somewhere. And some things you might not have in your hometown, we still do. Uh, but this is the ship's library. Uh, the ship's library was run by the RMs, or religious ministries, the people that wor work the chapel. And they uh, stock the library with books that are donated from different civic organizations or other libraries uh, in the general vicinity in the area. Uh, so they'll have, we have books. We'll also have magazines. Uh, some subscriptions are paid, through, uh, paid, paid for through the ship using money from Morale, Welfare, and Rec, or the MWR department. Uh, but it's set up just like uh, your library at home. So we have a Dewey Decimal System here, so you're not sure exactly what you're looking for, or how to find it, I should say. Uh, you can come in here, use the Dewey Decimal System, go to the different aisles, and get your grab the book off the shelf that you were looking for. Uh, we also have different places here inside the library. Um, there are study areas. The RMs that work in here uh, can help you with, uh, with study programs if you're doing college courses through the mail. Now, it's 1991, of course, so there wasn't any online anything. In 1991, we had uh, mail-in college courses, so you could be taking a college class. Uh, the RMs down here could help you with that, tutor you in some way. Uh, a friend of yours, come in here, because it's a library, it's a quiet area. Uh, you can do that studying and reading. You can also quietly listen to music. Uh, they have... Uh, uh, reel to reel and also cassette tapes, uh, cassette deck players and headphones down here where you can listen to all that different stuff. Uh, newspapers on microfiche and all that, it's all down here, found down here. Take a walk with me, I will point out some of these spaces to you and we'll talk about a little bit more here what goes on in the library. So, uh, here we're further inside the library now. And as I, was, as I was talking about before, there's uh, study areas, there's little desks like that all throughout the, the room where a sailor can sit and do quiet study or uh, get tutored, mentored in some way. Uh, there's one of the reel-to-reels that we had down here for music and, and entertainment as such. Back over here, another desk. There are these carousels here for VHS tapes because VHS was a very popular thing, of course, at the time. Uh, you can actually see up here, hanging from the overhead, is where the television was in this space down here. Uh, all, all televisions in areas had a VHS uh, tape player attached to it. So you could come down here, rent movies, uh, and take them back to your birthing space, of course, and watch, watch movies. Uh, I know when uh, Steve Martin came and visited us on board the battleship, his movies, anything that was down here, ended up going out into uh, the ship somewhere because he was very popular at that present moment because he had actually taken the time to come and visit us here on board Battleship Wisconsin. One of the things that they can help you with down here is fill out your tax forms. Uh, so you could come down here, grab a 1040 EZ or whatever form that you use to fill out your taxes and the for the upcoming tax year and the, the RMs that worked in here could assist you in filling those out. Now, uh, fun fact, in 1991, the IRS gave a 180 day extension starting the day the service member left uh, the combat zone. So here on board Battleship Wisconsin, that was March 4. Uh, so for, uh, there was a 180-day grace period to get your taxes done for 1991, uh, starting on March 4. There was an additional 105 days because Desert Shield participation. So there was a 285-day extension in total for our taxes that year. After the extension, our taxes were not due until December 14th of 1991. A uh, little fun fact for you, just to keep in mind in the back of your head, that uh, so when we got back from the Persian Gulf, I was actually a civilian by the time that I actually had to fill out the taxes, my tax form, for, uh, for the previous year while I was in Desert Shield, Desert Storm. So the library. I actually have a funny story myself with the library. This is the book, The Hunt for Red October. Uh, during the final months of Battleship Wisconsin before she was decommissioned the last time on 30 September 1991, one of the things that we had to do, of course, was offload our ammunition. So we took a trip from here, Norfolk, Virginia, up to Earl, 
uh, New Jersey for a weapons station. And that's where we offloaded our 16 inch and uh, five inch ammunition. On the trip, no one was aware of the fact that Tom Clancy, the author, was on board the ship with us uh, for that transit from Norfolk to uh, Earl. And from what I understand, he was here, he was staying in one of the VIP staterooms outside of uh, Combat Engagement Center. And uh, he was taking his meals in there and it's got a head and everything, so he didn't really need to leave the room. But he was trying to get a feel for something for writing a book. I'm not sure if that book ever came about, that story ever came about, or he ever used anything from his, from his time here on board Wisconsin. However, I'm working up in the pilot house. We tied up to the pier in Earl, and I happened to look out onto the bridge wing, and there was Tom Clancy. So I want to get an autograph. I don't have any of his books in my personal collection at the time, and I'm not thinking a piece of paper would really do the trick. So I actually ran down here to the library. I checked out this book. I ran back up to the bridge wing and had him autograph it for me. Uh, and then, of course, this ended up in my personal collection. Now, that's over 30 years ago. If there are any RMs that are watching, I'm sorry I took the book. Uh, it's, it's safe. It's in my personal collection. It actually hasn't aged at all. It, this is how I got it out of the library. Uh, but I'm, I'm sorry about the, uh, the amount of the fee that it must be to return this at this point in time. So I want to thank you for joining me today on this Whiskey Wednesday virtual adventure. I offer you, of course, to come down to the ship, take a look around, see the library, uh, learn about how the sailors lived on board the ship when they weren't at work, when we weren't fighting a war, a sailor being a sailor out at sea, the different things that, that he and in today's Navy, he and she are doing. Please come on board, visit the battleship, ask questions. We're here to, uh, to answer all those questions for you. Thank you, and have a really good day.